right now it's time to reveal our surprise celebrity guest. All right, so here we go. Your clues, if you're playing at home, we're NASA, mm -hmm. podcast slash TV mm -hmm. host, Planet I'm getting myself. Already start I'm clapping. Getting, I'm pretty All right, so hold on one second clapping. because we had a lot of viewers write in about this one. I want to give a shout out to Krista Potton Kohler and Sabrina Cameo. They got it right. They guessed this correctly. So please welcome everybody. Space Let music. me just roll out this long list here. Yo, Astrophysicist, yo. podcast, TV host, author, director of New York Hayden's Planetarium, Mr. Neil deGrasse. <laughs> We I, love I, it. I don't know if it's a good or bad thing that I could be recognized just for my silhouette. It's a good thing. It's I don't a good know what thing. That means. The, the silhouette was, gave, gave it away, but the viewers, they were chiming in from the first clue when we just had NASA, they guessed yeah. you. Oh, so, okay. All right. What do you think? Yeah. Look at this. Totally you. I thought it was George Clooney. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's go first with the question that we did ask before we get into everything else, which, we, which is a loaded one, right? We got into this a little bit last time you were here. Are we alone? in the universe. I know you have a lot of thoughts. Yeah, probably not. I just look at all the, look at you know how common the ingredients of life are across the universe. And you look at how quickly life started on Earth. Almost right when it had a chance to form, it formed. And look at how many planets we now have in our catalog. It's like more than 4,000 and growing, and that's just in a little pocket of our own galaxy. So you, you add up all these factors, it, you would be inexcusably egocentric to suggest mm. that we were alone in the But universe. why? But why haven't we, we met them. But, captured but that's the question. it? Why is haven't it, we met them? Is it just life or is it intelligent life out there? Yeah, are we talking about a yeah, fern right, right. on another <laughs> planet? Or are we talking about, <laughs> right. You know, we're talking about another version of mana. Fern fans would be offended. <laughs> Fern fans would be offended by that denigrative comment. Sorry. Is it just Sorry. ferns? <laughs> Sorry. Any, any, <laughs> any kind of life would transform biology, but intelligent life might transform civilization as we know it. So uh, whatever we find, it's going to be interesting. So now you're asking, where are they? So think of how much of the universe we've actually explored. And uh, Jill Tarter from the SETI Institute is famous for saying, imagine going to the ocean shore and getting a cup and scooping up a cup, yeah. looking at it and saying, right. there are no whales in the ocean. Just because you don't yet have the evidence doesn't mean the evidence is not still waiting. Well, you know, that brings me to something you, you explained. I, I was fascinated by your answer once when, you, when, you, when someone said, Explain nothing. Like, what is nothing? Oh. Right? It was fascinating. You had 15 minutes about explaining nothing. <laughs> Wait, but well, we, don't, so, we don't have 15 so, minutes, but give us 30 seconds. Uh, what, 30 what seconds nothing? of nothing? Okay. Please. So, <laughs> it's our show. <laughs> I'm confused. Look at our world. If you open a box and you say, there's nothing in the box. Yes, there is. There's air. Okay, so we've, we've agreed that nothing equals air on Earth. But go out in space, you don't even have air. Could there be a place where there's not even space. And it, or maybe there's a place where there's space, but there's no laws of physics that apply. Right. Mm. So at the end of the book where we talk about ways the world will end and other kinds of universes that could exist in a multiverse, under those conditions, we explore possible other universes, other ways of being alive, other ways of not being alive that might exist out there. So, yeah, th there's a whole discussion of nothing. Yeah, by the way, you just mentioned your book, which is Cosmic Queries, which is a a fascinating and people should order it and read it. OG has a question. Yeah, I have a Cosmic Query because Dan said there's no proof uh, of these life forms, but didn't Steven Spielberg give us a documentary called E.T.? Mm. Was I, yeah, what? It, it wasn't a documentary. Yeah, it was that, not? That no, wasn't. it wasn't for real? <laughs> he didn't really need to phone quick, home? I've got a, a quick tidbit. Uh, I once met Steven Spielberg, and we chatted briefly about E.T., and he told me that E.T., he conceived E.T. not as an animal, but as a vegetable. Oh. And Ooh. do you remember E.T. had that magic finger and right. made all the plants? Yeah. Grow and yeah. make them better. He's actually a walking vegetable. Wow. So I thought that was an interesting what? point that was not oh, fully yeah. put forth in the. Wow. Because he had a heart and all these things. You know, vegetables don't have hearts. But yeah. uh, that was his, what he had in mind. Hey, oh, last wow. time you were. a documentary for sure. Yes. <laughs> last time you were here, you know, you, you, you may have talked a little smack about the fine state of New Jersey. But from the state of New Jersey, I want to show you what we captured. Okay? Just take a oh, look yes. at this Go video right here. This? 
Okay, we have it for mm -hmm. you, and it's actually the SpaceX Falcon 9. Dave, do we have that video that we could throw up? And it's, it's there it is, oh. and OG. Uh, uh, and yeah. it's shooting across the sky there from the beautiful <laughs> state it. of New Jersey. Love it. And, and um, that's what we'll keep telling you, that it was SpaceX. <laughs> 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 but it, got, it got us thinking, and it got our producer, Kristen, thinking as well. When you look up at the stars, right, she wanted to know if you could answer this for her. Why do people say written in the stars? Can the universe really tell us something about our future? No, but the laws of physics as they apply across the universe can help us predict the future invoking the laws of physics like tomorrow's weather or next week's weather or our understanding of long-term climate so if something's written in the stars your, your atoms were forged in the stars mm -hmm. so if you, you can justifiably say our very existence was written in the stars oh, there are ways to oh, think wow. about that without deciding oh you're going to meet your your love you know the, the love of yeah. your life tomorrow no that's right. a whole other that's a whole other <laughs> bit of pseudoscience. That Betty's got a engage. question. Actually, it's Ben. Ben's ben. been raising oh, his hand. I have a question. Mm. Why are people so obsessed with Mars? I scroll through the news, <laughs> and there's always <laughs> these Mars. articles, and every picture, I'm like, oh, let's see, and it's just sand. You just go to Arizona, <laughs> and you see the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, here, here. So Mars is tipped on its axis, like Earth, and it rotates once in about 24 hours, like Earth. It has wow. polar ice caps, as Earth still does um, for the moment and it's kind of nearby and it once had liquid running water on its surface they're meandering riverbeds bone dry river deltas bone dry Ooh, what so happened? Our, our urge to try to find life yeah. in the universe is fully stoked by posing <laughs> questions about what once happened on Mars. That's why we're sending rovers, right. and we just sent a helicopter it's to Mars. It's such a good question. question. It's a badass yeah. helicopter. Look at him, he's getting all geeked yeah. out. He's throwing in you, I know, I said the word Mars. Mars. I mean, look at him. I but said the word Mars. Exactly, but I have to ask you this. What about Area 51? Mm. I mean, have they been here? Are we being, you know, told that it's, it doesn't exist? Is the government putting a, a pulling a wool over us? Have you eyes? been? Okay, do you do you think the government is really that competent? <laughs> no one is ever posing that question. Mm -hmm. You think nobody in all of Area 51 would have snuck out a selfie with the alien yeah, yeah. by now? Do you right. really think that that? Uh, no, of course the government wants to keep secrets, but if we're stockpiling aliens, do you think they'd be good at keeping that secret? A, B, why would the aliens only be revealing themselves? To the government. <laughs> what, 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 that is a good a, point. A, a Navy pilots. Yeah. What, <laughs> Maybe the aliens haven't discovered you yet, Neil. Yeah. That's why they haven't <laughs> called you. Exactly. I'm Soul. totally ready for him. Marisol bring, has bring a question. Yes. I, I, this is. Where did you go to high school? I went to the Bronx High School yeah. of Science. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and public schools my whole life. PS yeah. 36 in the South East Bronx, mm -hmm. and then PS 81 in junior high school, and the Bronx High School of Science. Oh. There you I'm go. proud of it. My kids went to public schools, so I'm a public school guy. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, by the way, just I don't mean to brag or anything, but the Bronx High School of Science has eight Nobel laureates. Oh, wow. wow. Okay. No big Same. deal. No, not, not me. I'm not among, but we got eight. I'm no big deal. I, I do want to highlight, though, this book that you have coming out right now, right? Cosmic Queries. Just yes. tell us a little bit about it. what are some of the most fascinating aspects of the book itself that you're going to be talking about? Well, it's a, it's a spinoff from my podcast, yeah. Star Talk. One of our more, more popular uh, formats was people ask their questions, and then we field the questions. If I don't have the expertise, I bring in someone who does. And for me, what's interesting about a Cosmic Queries concept, it's not me deciding what I think you should know. It is responding to questions yeah. you have asked. And these questions are the deepest ones ever asked in the history of our civilization. Mm. Where did we come from? Why are we here? Where, where, where's it all going? What is it all made of? How will it all end? And mm -hmm. so since How it's question-driven, it not answer-driven, it means some questions have good answers that we know, and others we're kind of we're not sure about, and still some questions we don't even know if it's the right question to begin with. Oh, oh my wow. goodness, That's what Neil. you're thinking. I'm just thinking about the question of where, <laughs> you know, did we come from? And I know we're not thinking our mothers, right? It's it's the, right. it's beyond that. <laughs> did you get well, an answer? It keeps going. Where'd your mother come from? And her right. mother and her mother and her well, mother. Did you find and, the answer and, at the beginning of civilization through science? Well, well since it's not so much civilization, it's the beginning of Mankind. matter. Yeah, yeah matter. Okay. Of, of everything. Thank you. The, the elements on the periodic table of elements 
Where did they come from? And you trace them. By the way, we didn't always know where they came from. Mm -hmm. we, now, we, we know that they traced to the, the crucibles and the centers yeah. of stars that cooked them, co making heavy elements out of light elements. And then they explode, scatter wow. into the galaxy, enriching the universe with the very elements of life itself. And these are sticky elements. We say we're carbon-based life. Yeah. You probably know that. You see science fiction. Yeah. Carbon can, can make all manners of molecules in all kinds of ways. So it's an ideal element on which to base the diversity of My life. My goodness. I, I've never seen everybody here just paying I, so much attention to what you're saying. So smart. You're hanging on every word. We're simply out of time, can I my friend. example? Oh, you're yeah. out of town. Oh. No, no, no. no, 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 no example. <laughs> Sorry, birthday. Example. A, a quick example of a question that might not even be the right question okay. that we don't even know. So for, here's one you, you do know. You visit Santa Claus and you say, Santa, point me which way north is. And every direction Santa Claus points is due south. On the North Pole, there is no north. Wow. The question has no meaning on the North Pole. Oh my oh. goodness. Okay, wow. so here's one, you ready? So okay. pin, let's visit Pinocchio. And Pinocchio utters, in a whale. My nose is about to grow. Uh huh. What will lying? happen to his nose? Oh, it's... you know what? It wouldn't grow because he's not. Oh well, I oh. don't know. Oh. Oh. We see if it doesn't grow, that meant lying. he was telling the truth, but he just said his nose was about to grow, which meant he was lying. You're right. You make me want to do drugs. If his nose grows, he's telling the <laughs> truth, and his nose shouldn't have grown. You know what? I want to. There's this whole thing about the the, the hotel that's going to be in space, the big round hotel that you can stay in the pods, right? <laughs> We're traveling. Okay. I want to go with you. I'm I want totally you to... there for the, but let me just finish up. The Pinocchio point oh, is oh. that sentence, my nose is about to grow, grow. has no meaning in Pinocchio's universe. Mm. Uh, that's yeah. deep, that thought. deep thoughts with me. That's what I'm saying. I was going to put you in. I know it's early. Right? It's in the morning. Oh, I yeah. get that. I know. I'm like, <laughs> No, no, we get it. It's, we're just trying to wrap our heads I, around. My it. head is like exploding. I know. Right now. And hotels in space. I'm all for hotels in space. And oh. Jersey. And, and Jersey. And, and I, I've hotels joked. I've, I've joked that I'd want the hotels to have like spas and restaurants. You know the usual thing. But I, I'd worry whether the, the restaurants had had atmosphere. You know. Ah, but I'm fun. You're here all week, folks. He's here all week. Neil deGrasse Tyson. His book Cosmic <laughs> Queries is out. <laughs> Get yourself a copy. Listen to his podcast, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Thank you. Yes, good Thank to you. see you again. Come back soon, okay? Will we you? love you. We don't even have enough. Love you guys. We, 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 <laughs> right. we dedicate the whole half hour to you. Good.